Episode 17, Rival Xie Yao returns to Yujing, Yun Han learned that Qing Lu was missing, and all the things in his room were taken away. He didn't know whether it was His Royal Highness or the Lord who did it. Princess Liang's men strutted into the city, threatening to attack the common people, but Yan Wei stopped them. Princess Liang disdains Wei Ming Yu, whom Iris spoke of, and asks her servants to beat her. Hua Liuli wants to punish those who do not abide by the laws of Jin, so Yan Wei fights with Princess Liang's servants. Ji Yu and Su show up and stop this farce. Then Princess Liang's second daughter, Xia Yao, also appeared. She was pretty, but her tone was very green tea, and she called Hua Liuli and Yan Wei sisters. Ji Yu and Su was not used to her, saying that Hua Liuli and Yan Wei were both younger than her, so they couldn't bark indiscriminately. Xia Yao took the initiative to ask Ji Yuan Su if he could take him to visit Yujing, but Ji Yuan Su directly refused because he wanted to send flowers and glass home. Sitting back in the carriage, Princess Leung was so angry that her face was crooked, but now that she has just returned, the Queen Mother must sell her some face. Ji Yuan Su sent Hua Liuli back home, Hua Liuli wanted to keep him for dinner, Wei Ming Yu and Hua Ying came out to see him and deliberately didn't let Ji Yuan Su stay for dinner. Wei Mingyu talked to Hua Liuli alone to find out her feelings for Ji Yuan Su. After confirming that her daughter liked Ji Yuan Su, Wei Mingyu reminded her not to express her feelings to Ji Yuan Su too early. Why didn't she want Hua Liuli to pursue love by herself, but getting married is not that simple, and the other party is still the prince of the dynasty. The emperor and the queen mother specifically asked Ji Yuan Su to take Xie Yao to visit Yujing, but Ji Yuan Su had to obey the order and took Xie Yao to the western suburbs. Hua Liuli learned that Ji Yuan Su was taking Xie Yao on a tour of the western suburbs, she hurriedly looked at it, Ji Yuan Su looked at her, Hua Liuli turned and ran away, Ji Yuan Su immediately left Xie Yao behind and chased after her. Hua Liuli was very angry, took a sip of vinegar, and sullenly said that the emperor wanted to tell him about Xie Yao's betrothed to him. Ji Yuan Su hurried back to the palace and told his father not to mention Xie Yao's betrothed to him. The emperor asked him who he liked, and Ji Yuan Su said Hua Liuli's name. The emperor agreed, and asked Ji Yuan Su how he wanted to help him. Ji Yuan Su clasped his hands together, as long as his father didn't blindly point to marriage, he would be Amitba, Grand Master Du was in poor health, so Yun Han came to find Du Xiuying and gave him a painting. This painting is very precious, and Du Xiuying didn't want it at first, but the kindness was hard to refuse, so she had to accept it. Yun Han also gave another painting and told her to look at it after he left. After investigation, Pei Ji Hui discovered that Qing Li used drugs to control Yun Han, and Ji Yuan Su was unwilling to force Yun Han until he told the truth. Princess Liang and Princess Shunan have always been at odds. And today they quarreled in the jewelry store, Liang pushed Shunan, Hua Liuli came to help, wiped rouge on Shunan's cheek, and signaled Tian Jiamin to cry. The two sides quarreled with the emperor, and at Hua Liuli's suggestion, the emperor made Princess Shunan a eldest princess as a compensation. As for Hua Liuli, because of her outstanding achievements, she was named a princess of Fuzhou. Princess Liang was very angry and went home to vent her anger on her husband and daughter. She even asked Xie Linzhou to send assassins to kill them. Xie Linzhou suddenly changed his face, changed his usual attitude of obeying what he said, and ruthlessly grabbed Princess Liang by the neck, threatening her not to say what she shouldn't say. The envoy from the Jinpa kingdom did not come for a long time, and Hua Liuli learned that the envoy from the Jinpa kingdom was He Yuan Ting.